He calls me boy! Chides as he had power to beat me out of Egypt. My messenger he hath whipped with rods. Dares me to personal combat. Caesar to Antony. Let the old ruffian know I have many other ways to die. Meantime, laugh at his challenge. Caesar must think. When one so great begins to rage, he's hunted even to falling. Give him no breath, but now make boot of his distraction. Never anger made good guard for itself. Let our best heads know that tomorrow the last of many battles we mean to fight. Within our files there are of those that served Mark Antony but late. Enough to fetch him in. See it done. And feast the army! We have store to do it, and they've earned the waste. Poor Antony. He will not fight with me, Domitius. No. How oh, I should he not? I think, being twenty times better of fortune, he is twenty men to one. Tomorrow, soldier, by sea and land I'll fight. Or I will live or bathe my dying honor in the blood shall make it live again. Wilt thou fight well? Oh, I'll strike and cry, take all! Well said, come on. Call forth my household servants. Let's tonight be bounteous in our meal. Give me thy hand, thou hast been rightly honest. So hast thou. And thou. And thou. And thou. You have served me well, and kings have been your fellows. What means this? It's one of those odd tricks which sorrow shoots out of the mind. And thou art honest too. I wish I could be made so many men and all of you clapped up together in an Antony that I might do you service so good as you have done. God forbid. Well, my good fellows, wait on me tonight. Scant not my cups, and make as much of me as when my empire was your fellow too, and suffered my command. What does he mean? <laughs> to make his followers weep, tend me tonight. Maybe it is the period of your duty. Haply you shall not see me more, or if a mangled shadow. Perchance tomorrow you'll serve another master. I look on you as one that takes his leave. Mine honest friends, I turn you not away, but like a master married to your good service, stay till death. Tend me tonight two hours, I'll ask no more, and the gods yield you for it. What mean you, sir, to give them this discomfort? Look, they weep, and I, an ass, an onion eyed. Shame, transform us, not the women. <laughs> now the witch take me if I meant it thus. Grace grow where those drops fall. My hearty friends, you take me into dolorous a sense. But I speak to you for your comfort. To desire you to burn this night with torches. No, my hearts. I hope well of tomorrow. And will lead you where rather I'll expect victorious life than death. <laughs> and honor. Let's to supper come. Drown consideration. <laughs> Brother, good night. Tomorrow is the day. It will determine one way. Fare you well. Heard you of nothing strange about the streets? Nothing. What news? The like is but a rumor. Good night to you. Well, sir, good night. Soldiers, have careful watch. And you? Good night. Good night. Here we. And if tomorrow our navy thrive, I have an absolute hope our landmen will stand up. Tis a brave army and full of purpose. Hear us, my armor! Hear us! No, my chuck. Hear us! Come, my armor! Hear us! Come, good fellow, put mine iron on. If fortune be not ours today, it is because we brave her. Come. Hey, I'll help too. What's this for? Ah, let's be, let's be. Thou art the armorer of my heart. False, false. This, this. Sooth, la. I'll help. Thus it must be. Well, well, we shall thrive now. Seest thou, my good fellow, 
Go, put on my defenses. Leave me, sir. Yes, now this buckled one. Really, really. <laughs> he that unbuckles this till we do please to daff it for our repose shall hear a storm. A fumble spear us. And my queen's a squire more tight at this than now. Dispatch. Oh, love, that thou mayst see my wars today and knewest the royal occupation, <laughs> thou shouldst see a workman in it. Good morrow to thee, welcome. Thou looks like him that knows a warlike charge. To business that we love, we rise betimes and go to it with delight. A thousand, sir, early thou'lt be, have on their riveted trim and at the port expect you. The morn is fair. Good morrow, general. Tis well blown, lads. This morning, like the spirit of a youth that means to be of note, begins betimes. Fare thee well, dame. Whatever becomes of me, this is a soldier's kiss. Rebukable and worthy, shameful, check it were to stand on more mechanic compliment. I leave thee now like a man of steel. You that will fight, follow me close. I'll bring you to it. Have you? Retire to your chamber. Lead me. He goes forth gallantly. That he and Caesar might determine this great war in single fight. Then, Antony. But now. Well, on. <laughs> God make this a happy day to Antony. Oh, would thou and those thy scars had once prevailed to make me fight at land? Hadst thou done so, the kings that have revolted and the soldier that has this morning left thee would have still followed thy heels. Who's gone this morning? Who? One ever near thee. Call for Ena Barbus, he shall not hear, or from Caesar's camp say I am none of thine. What sayest thou? Sir, he is with Caesar. Sir, his chest and treasures he has not with him. Is he gone? Most certain. O oh, Eros, send his treasure after. Do it, detain no just, I charge thee. Write to him. I will subscribe gentle adieus and greetings. Say that I wish he never find more cause to change a master. Oh, my fortunes of corrupted, honest men. Dispatch. Eno Barbos. Go forth, Agrippa, and begin the fight. Our will is Antony be took alive. Make it so known. Caesar, I shall. The time of universal peace is near. Prove this a prosperous day. The three nooked world shall bear the olive freely. I hear Antony is coming to the field. Go. Plant those that have revolted in the van that he may seem to spend his fury upon himself. Alexis did revolt and went to jury upon affairs of Antony. There did dissuade great Herod to incline himself to Caesar and leave his master Antony. For this pains, Caesar hath hanged him. Ben Tedious and the rest that fell away have entertainment, but no honorable trust. I have done ill which I do accuse myself so sorely that I will join no more. Inobarbus, Antony hath after thee sent all thy treasure. With his bounty over plus, the messenger came on my guard and at thy tent is now unloading of his mules. I give it you! Mock not, Inobarbus, I tell you true. Best you safe the bringer out of the host. I must attend mine office or would have done myself. Your emperor continues still a Jove. I am alone, the villain of the earth! And feel I am so most. Oh, Antony, thou mine of bounty, how wouldst thou have paid my better service when my 
turpitude thou dost so crown with gold. This blows my heart. If swift thought break it not, a swifter mean shall outstrike thought. But thought will do it, I feel. I fight against thee? No. I will go seek some ditch wherein to die. The foulest best fits my latter part of life. Be fire. We have engaged ourselves too far. Caesar himself has worked. And our oppression exceeds what we expected. Oh, my brave emperor, this is fought indeed. Had we done so at first, we'd have driven them home with clouts about their heads. Well, they're bleached to pace. I had a wound here that was like a T, and now it is made an H. They do retire! Even in the bench holes, I had yet room for six scutters more. They are beaten, sir, and our advantage serves for a fair victory. Let's score their backs and snatch them up as we do hairs behind to sport to maul our runner. I will reward thee. Once for thy sprightly comfort, tenfold for thy good power. I'll halt after. We have beat him to his camp. Run one before and let the queen know of our jests. Tomorrow, before the sun shall see us, we'll spill the blood that has today escaped. I thank you all. For doughty handed are you, and a fort not as you served the cause, but as had been each man's like mine. You have shown all Hector's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enter the city, clip your wives, your friends, tell them your feats, whilst they with joyful tears wash the congealment from your wounds and kiss the honored Gashi's hole. Give me thy hand. To this great fairy I'll commend thy acts, make her thanks, bless thee. Oh, thou day of the world! Chain mine armed neck, leap thou a tyrant all through proof of harness to my heart, and the rain on the pants triumphant! Oh, 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 infinite virtue, <laughs> comest thou smiling from the world's great snare uncaught? My nightingale! We have beat him to his bed. What girl? Though grey do something mingle with our younger brown, yet have we a brain that nourishes our nerves and can get goal for goal of youth. Behold this man. Commend unto his lips thy favouring hand. Kiss it, my warrior. He hath fought today as if a god in hate of mankind had destroyed in such a shape. I'll give thee, friend, an armour all of gold. It was a king's. He hath deserved it, were it carbuncled like holy Phoebus' car. Give me thy hand. Through Alexandria make a jolly march. Bear our hacked targets like the men that owe them. Had our great palace the capacity to camp this host, we all would sup together and drink carouses to the next day's fate, which promises royal peril! Yeah. Yeah. Trumpeters! With brace and din, blast to the city's ear. Make mingle with our rattling tabarins that heaven and earth may strike their sounds together, applauding our approach! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>